Hello and welcome everybody, Will here. Today I'm going to show you how to synthesize a square wave using additive synthesis. So in other words, we're only going to use sine wave oscillators to produce a square wave. Now the formula for a square wave only has odd harmonics and the energy in each harmonic is the inverse of the harmonic number which means 1 over the harmonic. So in the case of the fundamental, just going to be 1 over 1. We'll skip 2 because it's even. Go to 3. So the third partial will have one-third the energy of the fundamental and be three times the frequency. All right, so let's take a look at it. Over here I've got a basic sine wave oscillator. and it's at 100 Hertz and here is the energy. I've just put a 1 because 1 divided by 1 is 1. The scope is going to help us see it and let's go ahead and take a listen as well as a look at this sound. Cool. Let's take a look at what happens as we start to build this with two oscillators. So we stick to the formula. Here's my one-third for the energy and the frequency 300 Hertz or three times the fundamental. Let's have a look and a listen uh, to this waveform. So right away you can already see that it's uh, starting to become more square-like and that's just uh, just the beginning. All right, let's have a look at three oscillators. So again, still just following the formula, moving up, skipping the even partials, only working with the odd ones. We're now at 500 hertz with uh, energy of one-fifth of the uh, fundamental. Let's hear and see this one. even more square-like. Now I've uh, skipped ahead a little bit. Let's, uh, let's see, this is now the first 10 partials. All right, let's take a look and a listen to this. Awesome, so you can see already how square wave like that's becoming and we've only done the first 10 partials this uh, theoretically goes to infinity so not bad considering we've only done uh, done 10 there so you can see that if we just kept on adding more and more sine wave oscillators following this formula we would approach uh, the ideal so to speak square wave cool so just to review here's with one oscillator, here's our waveform. Two oscillators, becoming more square-like. Three oscillators. Ten oscillators. So again, it's just a, a principle you can extrapolate and you could imagine what would happen if you had a hundred sine wave oscillators or a thousand um, but uh, there you have it that's how one way you can arrive at a square wave and I uh, hope you found this interesting and useful and uh, if not just uh, go ahead and like and subscribe anyways and uh, we will see you in the next video thanks